Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss various types of STEMI that is ST segment elevated myocardial infarction. If you want to know why there is a ST segment elevation in MI, please refer to my earlier video on ST segment elevation and depression. This video will be about the types of ST segment elevation, anterior, inferior, lateral and posterior. More specifically why they are named so, which artery is the culprit artery in each one of them and which ECGs will leads will show this ST segment elevation in these types. So to answer these questions, we are going to learn about the cortex surface and borders, ECG leads types and the coronary artery branches. Let's start with the basics of current cortex surfaces and borders. Heart has five surfaces, four borders and two cell side or grooves. So this is the coronal cell size and this is the intraventricular cells. The coronal cells separates atrium and the ventricles and the two ventricles are separated by the intraventricular cells. The anterior surface of the heart is mainly formed by the right ventricle and also contribution from the left ventricle and the right atrium and the right border and the right surface by the right atrium, the left border and the left surface by the left ventricle, and the inferior border by both the ventricles superior surface by both the atrium and the great vessels the posterior surface mainly formed by the left atrium so though this is the general description of the entire heart when it comes to stemi we mainly focus only on the left ventricular walls that is when we say anterior posterior lateral and inferior we refer to the walls of the left ventricle itself and not the entire heart mainly because uh, in ST segment elevation MI it's mainly due to left ventricle that's one issue and atrial infarctions are not going to be seen in the ST segment elevation it's going to be picked up from the atrial ST segment also called as STA which actually falls in the PR segment so when we look in the ST segment it's only the ventricular infarction that too mainly the left ventricle infarction is seen the right ventricle infarction is picked up by a separate set of lead not the conventional 12 ECG leads there are separate leads which will pick up the right ventricular involvement so the left ventricular involvement which is more common and more serious are detailedly studied in the conventional 12 lead ECG so this a anterior posterior lateral and inferior all the walls of the left ventricle when it comes to STEMI so let's go into the ECG leads and find out where these four types of STEMI will be seen. Um, anterior, posterior, lateral and the inferior. Let's start with the inferior. These are the inferior leads. The three limb leads and the two, three and AVF. This picks up the ST segment elevation in the inferior MI. This is inferior MI is very common. It's almost about 50% of all STEMI are due to inferior MI, which is actually due to right coronary artery involvement. We'll see that in the next slides. So this is inferior. And these two, AVL and 1, and along with the chest leads, V5 and V6, they represent the lateral leads. So whenever there is a lateral MI, this AVL, 1, and V5 and V6, will show ST segment elevation and this is anterior anterior MI will be mainly seen in V3 and V4 these are called as anterior chest leads the V5 V6 are lateral and this is anterior and V1 V2 is the septal if it is a pure anterior uh, infarction then V3 and V4 will show the ST segment elevation but most common type is anteroseptal that is both V1 and V2, uh, V3, V4 all will show ST segment elevation which shows the involvement of the septum, intraventricular septum also. And the only one missing now so far is the AVR which is sometimes referred as a neglected lead. It actually picks up um, an infarction from a region called as basal interventricular septum this is uh, present over here basal interventricular septum this septum if there is an infarction the st segment elevation will be specifically seen in avr 
so this covers all the precordial leads now you might have noticed we have not covered this posterior and also not covered any right ventricular involvement so far we have seen only the left ventricular types and where, which leads will show the changes the right ventricular uh, infarction if we have to pick up then we have to go into right ventricular chest leads which are labeled as v3 or v4 or and so on it goes up to v6 or so these right sided chest leads will pick up the right ventricular st segment elevation sometimes v1 also might show but more specific is the right sided leads and finally if you have to find out the posterior myocardial infarction the leads which are used are v7 to v9 these are called as posterior chest leads which are actually based on the posterior side of the thorax which will pick up the st segment elevation in posterior type so anterior is the chest leads mainly posterior is the posterior chest leads lateral by both chest leads and the uh, two limb leads one and avl inferior by the limb leads 2 3 and avf this is where the st segment elevation will be found in these types now let's go to the coronary arteries and which branch if it gets blocked which type of mi will come so that's what we are going to see now let's start with the right coronary artery right coronary artery originates from the aorta and comes down in the coronal sulcus and then it goes to the posterior side and it gives off an important branch called as posterior descending artery this is the pda posterior descending artery and this right ventricle uh, and the right atrium both are supplied by this right coronary artery so in broad principle the right heart is by the right coronary artery and the left heart is by the left coronary artery but this pda which is special which also supplies this left ventricle inferior part of the left ventricle and the septum septal region in 80 percentage of the cases it comes from the right coronary artery so it is said to be right dominant circulation if this branch comes from a left circumflex which is a branch of left coronary artery then it is said to be a left dominant circulation this pda posterior descending artery if, if it is involved in a myocardial infarction it since it supplies the inferior left ventricle and the septal region we are going to get a inferior myocardial infarction where the 2 3 and avf leads will show st segment elevation and if the blockage is more proximal then we are going to develop more and more symptoms like right ventricular will also be involved that is because of this artery acute marginal artery which is given off by the right coronary artery before turning to the posterior side this acute marginal artery responsible for most of the supply of the entire right ventricle so if it is also involved we are going to have a right ventricular involvement which can be picked up by pacing the right sided leads v3 or v4 and so on sometimes v1 may also show st segment elevation in a right ventricular involvement and since some of the posterior uh, surface of the ventricle both right and left is supplied by this right coronary artery sometimes there could be a posterior uh, mi also along with this inferior in such cases the posterior leads v7 v8 and v9 should be looked for st segment elevation and v1 v2 v3 may sh show up uh, uh, st segment depression in a posterior mi so the elevation will be found only in the posterior chest leads so this is the uh, story of right coronary artery now let's see the left coronary artery the left coronary artery is uh, short the main stem it's called as left main stem or left main coronary artery this is the uh, name for it this is very short and it immediately divides into two that is left circumflex this is the left circumflex and it goes to the posterior side and it supplies the left atrium and parts of the left ventricle and sometimes in 20 percent of the cases it gives off the posterior descending artery and the other branch of the left main stem is the left anterior descending artery which supplies the anterior region of the left ventricle and some of the lateral region also 
so anterior and left of the left ventricle the most important parts are supplied by the left anterior descending artery if it is involved the um, mortality rate is very high so sometimes this is called as the widow maker widow maker artery the left anterior descending artery it also gives of septal branch which supplies the basal interventricular septum the first septal branch supplies the basal interventricular septum and the rest of the anterior septum is supplied by this other septal branches of the left anterior descending artery so as we have seen in the previous slide that is uh, yeah, infarction in the basal septum will lead to changes in the AVR so if AVR shows ST segment elevation so people suspect that there is a uh, proximal lesion in the left anterior descending artery that is even before giving the branch of septal artery if there is no then uh, no ST segment elevation in AVR then the lesion is below the septal branch and it also gives apical branch and also gives uh, diagonal branches which supplies the lateral wall the first diagonal uh, branch supplies the high lateral side the other diagonal branches supplies the lateral part of the other regions in the left ventricle this left circumflex artery not only supplies the posterior region it also gives off a branch called as obtuse marginal artery which supplies the lateral surface of the left ventricle so now when the left uh, anterior descending artery is infected the type of infection the person develops is anterior mi if only anterior if it is lower down if it's a distal then only v3 v4 will show st segment elevation if the septal artery is also involved then v1 v2 also might show uh, st segment elevation if the lateral diagonal branches are also blocked then the person will develop v5 v6 will also show the entire chest leads will show st segment elevation so this is uh, this is pure anterior and these two are involved it's called as anterior septal and if these two are involved then it's called as anterior lateral sometimes along with these chest leads the lateral leads 1 and AVL also will show a ST segment elevation this is called as a extensive anterior myocardial infarction which carries a high mortality risk so this is the left anterior descending story next is the left circumflex the left circumflex if it is blocked it's going to develop a posterior myocardial infarction which can be picked up by uh, the leads of the v7 v8 and v9 the posterior leads if it is distal if it is a proximal lcx infection uh, sorry not in infarction then um, the lateral wall also of the left ventricle also involved because of this obtuse marginal artery so the person develops both the lateral and posterior myocardial infarction so this is a lateral type if lateral plus posterior then it is probably lcx as we have seen in 20 percent of the cases uh, the left coronary artery is dominant which actually also gives the interventricular the posterior interventricular artery or the posterior descending artery which supplies the inferior left ventricular also so if a person has a uh, left coronary artery dominant left dominant circulation and a left circumflex occlusion the person will develop posterior plus lateral plus inferior type of myocardial infarction all these three leads will three types of leads will show an st segment elevation now um, the the thing is I, then final thing is that uh, isolated yeah isolated lateral infarction could be due to one of the branches like if just the obtuse marginal artery or one of these diagonal branches of the left anterior is alone involved then there will be only lateral infarction without any anterior or posterior so lateral isolated is due to these branches either the diagonal branch or uh, obtuse marginal artery lateral plus posterior is left circumflex if lateral plus anterior it could be due to the left anterior descending artery so this is the arteries and the types of myocardial infarction let's do a quick revision with reference to the types and which area it involves and which leads it will show so this is inferior mi this involves the inferior wall of the 
um, inferior wall of the left ventricle so this is the zone which is involved the inferior wall of the left ventricle it is mainly due to right coronary artery oh, sorry um, this is mainly due to a right coronary artery involvement and uh, if in case of um, left dominant circulation the same thing could happen also due to a left circumflex artery occlusion anterior is due to anterior left uh, left ventricle is infected due to occlusion of the left uh, descending artery left anterior descending artery lad which if it is distal only anterior will be involved if it is more proximal anterior septal will also be involved this will be picked up by v1 and v2 this is v3 and v4 and anterior lateral will also plus it in involved v5 and v6 and if it also has one and avl st segment elevation which is called as extensive anterior which will involve um, the v1 v2 v3 v4 the entire region the entire region of the left ventricle is undergone infarction this is most probably due to a left descending artery left anterior descending artery proximal lesion yeah, isolated uh, lateral we have already seen which uh, which is happens due to only the blockage of the obtuse marginal artery or a diagonal branch which is coming the diagonal branch supplies the lateral region also this is a diagonal artery one the first diagonal artery if it is alone involved which is a branch of left descending artery it gives off this high lateral myocardial infarction which where there is only one lead one and lead avl will show uh, st segment elevation this is called as high lateral due to diagonal artery one posterior and lateral it is due to the left circumflex artery and if it is a, a proximal lesion which will show both posterior and lateral if it's a distal lesion of left circumflex there will be only posterior type of myocardial infarction which will be seen in v7 v8 right ventricular infarction is definitely due to right coronary artery which will be picked up by the right side at chest leads and uh, uh, that's it we have covered all the types and all the arteries and where we will see the ecg leads so i have given a list of all this culprit vessel and what type of st segment elevation the person will get just please go through it and if you understood please like share and comment please subscribe to the channel if you have any questions leave it in the comment i will use them as ideas for my new videos or if you have any idea please put it as a request i will make new videos on those, those topics Thank you.